Earlier in 2021, I made a video called Windows 11 on Intel Atom, where we saw that it was able to run Windows 11. But the loading times were way too huge, rendering the entire experience barely usable. Now that Windows 11 has been around for a while, I want to repeat the same experiment, but with a twist. This is Toshiba Intel Centrino 2GB and 120GB storage. This laptop can barely handle Windows 7. So let's first install the full-fledged version of Windows 11. I'm using the latest version of Windows 11 ISO downloaded from Microsoft's ISO creation tool. As you know, the minimum requirements for the OS are 4GB of RAM and secure TPM 2.0. However, the Rufus's latest version gives us the option to forego those requirements instead of using the registry modifications or replacing Windows installation files. Well done, Rufus. Who's a good boy? Now it's time to pop in the USB and install. The installation is pretty standard and for older PCs, we have to use the MBR option when creating the installation medium. From start to finish, it took about almost one hour just for the install. After that, we're in the OS and just doing the basic things like getting the right-click pop-up menu can take up to 15 seconds. We can't even get the full hardware acceleration. The workload is just too much. Opening up the Windows Explorer is also very time-consuming. However, once you give it like 10 minutes, it can load all the files and then it does feel a little better, but I wouldn't call it useful. Something interesting that I've noticed, Intel Atom that was in Surface 3, our experimental device last time, did seem a lot better at the OS, which makes sense since that device was literally 6 years ahead of this one. After installing the drivers, the experience improved a little and I'm talking about the standby experience because the moment you have like two or more applications running, it's game over. The utilization of the components in the task manager were also near 100%. Time for the verdict. I wouldn't recommend Windows 11 official build on low to mid-end PCs. The loading times are just way too huge to make it usable. The reason for the slowdowns is obviously the hardware, but Windows 11 is a telemetry focused operating system. There are just way too many services running. And as you can tell, do we need all of those services running at the same time, especially if my use case was light or maybe even air -capped. If you were to fire up Wireshark in here, you would see the pinging requests to various servers, some of which we even call shady. Luckily, there's a way to install Windows 11 custom ISO. Let's move on to the moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna install Windows 11 from Go Spectre, my favorite developer for custom Windows builds. Installation this time was considerably fast, clocking in at around slightly above 30 minutes. The experience is way better, less loading times and faster interactions. The standby and opening up a few apps in the background works just fine but the moment you want to do something a little relatively heavy the slowdowns are immediately noticeable okay so what did we learn from this experience while it is true that we can run the official windows 11 build i wouldn't recommend it because it's borderline unusable the ghost specters custom build is way more usable and if you want to go with windows 11 for some reason for older hardware then it's definitely the way to go but in this case the hardware is just too old to fully utilize the custom build i would recommend installing windows 10 Go Spectre or Tiny7. These are way more usable on something like this. One thing I should mention here, please stick to the reputable sources for custom builds of Windows. I've had amazing experience with Go Spectre and they seem to be legit without any malicious intentions. The other developer that I absolutely loved was Experience way back in the days of Windows 7. So be careful with custom ISOs and OSs because some of them can come with unwanted software mining tools or even remote shells so with that being said this is rogue hat i hope you guys enjoyed this experiment thank you so much for watching catch you guys later